today's video we're going to be talking about Dramageddon 3 and I'm going to be doing my makeup. Gonna be trying some new things, gonna start with a moisturiser because my skin is dry and sandpapery and we're gonna get into it. So it's one where Dramageddon 2 ended in 2019, like at the end of 2019. Like it's one where this drama felt like it never stopped like like just didn't feel like there was an end point for a bit everyone just kind of existed james and tarty came off the internet so I'm going to use my RL filter primer. Let's get it so not at its peak. James came back, nothing particularly scandalous happened. Like nothing much happened. It was a case of Jeffrey and Shane were big on supporting Tarty. When James dropped No More Lies, Jeffrey and Shane are silent. They don't ever support James Charles. Gonna be trying this new foundation. Makeup Revolution RL Filter Silk Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation that I haven't even opened. Luckily, I think I might be able to do this with my nails. They're at this point not even talking to Tarty. Along came the trailer that Shane Dawson drops to his documentary series with Jeffree Star. The Bi Sister drama was the main point of the trailer, but not much happened about the Bi Sister drama in the actual documentary series. But mostly it focused around the eyeshadow palette, which to be honest, when I watched it, the eyeshadow palette was the thing I was the most interested in. Like, I wasn't really interested in the drama. Shane left a lot of it out and said people are more interested in the making of the palette than... I actually think I'm going to have to use nail scissors, which is going to be fun because I cut myself quite badly last time, so... I'm quite nervous about having to actually open all of this packaging. Like, Shane and Jeffrey were definitely involved in, like, the drama in 2019. There was backlash for not including the drama. In the last part of the series, we see Shane include, like, little bits of what happened. You see the drama in, like, the first ten minutes when they're watching the drama unfold. Look at her. She's, like, fucking... Looks like a fucking goddess. She got ready. <laughs> this is bad news. Like, it's one where I kind of watched the series and had no idea how much Shane and Jeffrey were involved in this drama. I did my thoughts of each episode of the series, so I will leave that linked down below. Comes with a cute pump. I do quite like the packaging of this. And I'm the shade F2. I think this is going to be an alright shade match. It smells quite perfumedy. 
seems to be all right. It's like not bad coverage. We'll say probably do need a little bit more. But generally going for relatively light coverage. I also will link down below like I had Alt Revolve with Jeffree Star Cosmetics, which I will link down below. Like that's probably enough. I don't want like super crazy coverage, just trying to blend it a little bit better so it don't look too too patchy. This is like relatively light coverage, I would say. Not sure I'm a light coverage kind of girl, but we'll keep going with it if I have to add a bit of another foundation into it to make it a bit more the coverage I would want or even if I just mix it with another foundation that's too dark Jeffree Star there was Jeffree Star and Rich Lux and Shane sitting on the couch watching it go down you see Shane reacting to it with Ryland <sighs> What? I'm just like so nervous, like fourth hand. I know. Oh, oh my gosh. 43 minutes. Huh? I have a weird feeling. Same. This is gonna be like drama again in part two. I'm gonna be using this, which I put under my eyes. Oh no, if I meant to open this. This is like the Makeup Revolutions version of like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the Elf Halo Glow. This piece of packaging is sticky to me. Right. You see Shane walking to his gym talking about the situation. Um, but I didn't think it would get to this magnitude. And I want to share with you guys that I do really want the hate to stop. You see him talking about it with Jeffree Star at the Jeffree Star offices. So I'm going to give this a go. Stay for it. This is probably going to be very dark. I'm going to use like the tiniest, tiniest little bits. Because this is so dark. So I would not get away with this as a foundation. So that's why I'm using like the tiniest, tiniest amount. I'm really blending it in quite carefully. If I can get away with on the eyes. This is not where I'd normally put it. But I would not get away with this as a foundation. Probably get away with it as a highlight, just about. I'll just use like the tiniest, tiniest amount. This is like medium to light. I'd say this is more medium than I like. This is luster. And it looks like this. It has the same doe foot applicator. Would like to try this in a lighter shade. I'm going to move on to concealer. Makeup Revolution. I feel like that kind of smelt a bit. Shane made it seem like they weren't in the same room when all of this happened. This is where the coverage sort of build up. This is my concealer. This is the Max Factor. All day flawless. Airbrush finish concealer. That's a 30 hour one and this is vegan.
Shane Sarah's happened. There was this big launch of the eyeshadow palette. We had the Jeffree Star and Shane collaboration. I've been a beauty blender concealer girl recently. One where it sold out and broke the internet, like they literally broke the internet. Moving into 2020, Jeffree Star started to get in a lot more hot water. Over his past behaviour. Jeffree Star went on a few podcasts to clear his name, share his side of the story. Jeffree Star blamed Tati, put the blame on Tati. Jeffree Star talked about this voice note. Bringing all this stuff, and it like caused a lot in a lot of hot water. One where like people are bringing up stuff from like Jeffree Star's past and that. I'm just gonna use some powder. Maybe even fit me powder. Just to kind of keep everything nice in place. Stuff was coming out from Jeffree Star's Twitter, which he was to cover his back. Lester had done an Instagram live talking about his experience with Jeffree Star and talking about how he felt like Jeffree Star was using him as like his one black friend. This is my truth. I'm going to be talking about why I no longer support Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and Shane Dawson. Shane was getting dragged for stuff. Gonna use the real natural bronzer. Need a bit of bronzer. Gonna be trying a new blush today. Gonna be trying the Elf Camo Liquid Blush. This is Camo Liquid Blush. This is High Pigment in the shade Coral Crush. Shane got dragged. From his podcast, which is called Shane and Friends. Which is where most terrific stuff happened. I can't work out how you open this. It's quite pigmented. Do one dot, one dot. One dot. I'm gonna see how this goes. When Tati got all the hype, Jeffrey and Shane were on her side. When James got the hype, they distanced themselves from Tati. Mm -hmm. 
they were into their clout, chasing who was going to benefit them. Jeffree Star let everyone know that Tati is repaying the consequences. Probably did hit like Tati and her following like the most out of everyone. They're still like defending James Charles. So it actually blended out too too bad. Probably will go over it with my beauty blender. This is my real techniques beauty blender. Shane and Jeffrey were very much stuff going on with the James Charles situation behind the scenes. Like they were very much involved behind the scenes. People started speculating what gonna put some of this H and M cream blush over the top. Jama Tunnels, Ashley. Cara and Sonus Kennedy, how they were tipped off by Jeffree Star before this drama like happened. Like Ashley Kira showed screenshots where Jeffree Star was saying horrible stuff about what James had done. Going for the blush look today. A lot of drama channels said they got inside scoops, like when videos were gonna drop, so they could be the first to report on the drama. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter in Spotlight. One way, like, Jeffree Star pretty much, like, gave them the information. Mostly in order to, like, cover his back. So it would look like, I have all this evidence. It's quite a messy product, but I do like the product, so I do just get over the messiness. It's not like it's coming out of the lid, so it's not going too bad. Also, so. They wouldn't talk badly about Jeffree Star. There was this tweet from Shane Dawson about like the beauty community. Like this had like a major role in the drama. He admitted to know drama was coming and that Tati was making this video. Though he said he didn't know what Tati was going to go on. James Charles as hard as she did. He despised the rumour that him and Jeffrey and Tati orchestrated this drama to tear down James Charles and they were jealous and how it's not true. Don't you? Call it glowy. 
Lights and a bit of cheek. Said he agreed with everything Tati said in her video. All the time we don't know if this is true. He said James needed to eat a slice of humble pie as big as the Empire State Building. And how the beauty community was full of toxic people. Very toxic, even small creators because they got their views from doing things like anti hauls Very interesting to be leaving the beauty community when he never made a beauty video. He had only made like a palette collaboration. Jeffree Star Cosmetics. gonna go over the top with a little bit of this highlighter in this palette that I just stabbed my finger so I'm just gonna put it on my nose while I stab it into the highlighter so I set with some powder highlight at my face when I finish my tea. Made a palette and glosses with Jeffree Star. People were annoyed and it was justified because I'm going to use my Barry M Lidlock primer. One where making out to have been the most toxic when it was involved with the most toxic people in the drama the statement was received poorly because only like 1% of the beauty community is actually toxic. Most people just want to have fun with makeup, create content, share an interest with their audience. Only like the very small minute percent. And this statement made out, you all suck. People made videos and tweets on this statement. Backlash was big that Shane Dawson deleted his tweet. I'm do like an orange eye today, I think. Then he made a tweet with some clarifying remarks on his statement. People saw the side of Shane Dawson that they hadn't seen before and didn't like. Like, realised they'd seen the side of Shane Dawson they didn't like. Because Shane Dawson claims to be an empath. Or empath, but I don't quite know how you say it. few days after Shane tweeted, Tati came out with her Breaking My Silence video because she was talking to drama channels, get ready, I'm posting this video. Like, trying to get drama channels on her side. Like, they were manipulating drama channels to be on their side, like, trying to make it so drama channels didn't speak poorly of them. Like, beauty influencers hated drama channels, now they're using them to their advantage. To, like, get their side of the story across, or the narrative they want people to see. A lot of my makeup brushes are still wet, so... Bring this brush. I'm just going to deepen up the outer... Heart.
blending it all together. Gonna go in my tiny palette and use the orange shade. Gonna use a bright last palette. Gonna use this brush. Gonna use my setting spray. My Maybelline Lasting Fixing Spray. I'm also going to use my MUA Jewel Palette to like go over the top. This one here. Also use the MUA jewel for my inner corner shade. I'm gonna use this more kind of peachy shade, and I probably use too much setting spray for the inner corner. Probably gonna go in my inner slightly. Hopefully not, but. I'm gonna use I'm gonna probably use this on the nose. Like this little crease colour. No, this is not the brush to use. I'm gonna use this as a blending brush. A lot of my brushes are still wet, so this is where my eyes are at. Tati was like reading a script in this video. It's one where Tati made out that this video was the only way to like get through to James. She talked about in a video before, like, did Tati need to call James out? Did Tati take no accountability? To be honest, I don't know. Things were very unresolved in this drama. Gonna move on to. Mascara. Oh, Maybelline Sky High. Use this mascara. Use the Cosmic Black. So here's the fun packaging. She said Jeffrey and Shane came to her with allegations she knew could ruin James's career. Gonna 
try finally gonna try the elf lip oil this is fused with apricot oil glow gonna try this out it's one where it's one where everyone that is involved is relatively actively posting on youtube some are more active than others lip oil gonna give that a go I feel like I'm probably more of a lip oil person than a lip balm. This isn't too bad. Do you quite like this? Glow Reviver Lip Oil in Pink Gauze. Tati talking about her friendship with Jeffree Star. She kept Jeffree Star because she thought she could be a good example to him. She confirmed the theory Jeffree Star and Jane did all of this because they were jealous of James Charles. Tati was so convincing. I feel like Tati probably shouldn't have blasted James online. I probably, from what I've said in the last video, which I will have linked down below, get that she was probably upset. But also, did Tati fully own up to her mistakes? That didn't run as much as I thought that was going to. Shane Dawson popped on Instagram Live and started screaming at his camera. So sure. She Oh, of course. Is that another ad? That Tati was a liar. The live stream lasted one minute and thirty. This is where you see Shane get involved in drama. Ryland is in the background and said, You need to stop. Shane, don't get involved in the drama. This is bad. Both Shane and Jeffrey then were radio silent. People started digging into Shane's content and how horrific his content was. Shane made an apology video called Taking Accountability. I'm not sure on this video. I have watched it. It has 22 million views. He did a series with problematic people. Tana Mojo, which I don't know really. Jake Paul and Jeffrey Star. He did when he came back with a conspiracy theory and another series with Jeffrey Star. The video at first went over pretty well. 12 hours after the video was posted, Shane Dawson went radio silent for a year and a half. Jeffrey went silent for a month after Tati's video. He came back with his gold couch video. Like, he left it as long as possible to come back before addressing the drama. Came back with a new makeup launch. At the end of 2020, the winner, you would say, is James Charles. Like, it's a case of what Tati said was true, but she did it the wrong way. Like, she didn't do it, um, she didn't do it for the right reasons. Like, she didn't do it to help the victims and get their voices heard and that. James posted two apology videos, which he deleted. They would go months without communicating. Would only resurface out if there was in drama or a launch for Jeffree Star Cosmetics for Tati to promote. 
when my Jeffree Star would talk to Tati about James. Tati, I'm not sure if this is like pure jealousy. People probably do think that this was jealousy. Tati thought that for Jeffree and Shane this was pure jealousy. Jeffree Star introduced Tati to Shane, saying she would be involved in his series. And that never happened. Shane offered to edit the My Sister video and do the thumbnail. Which Tati refused. There was a more article about why Morphe dropped Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star Cosmetics post... Jeffree Star posted doing what's right video Emily D Baker on the 30th of October 2020 posted her first video on the Tati drama 2021 horrific stuff happened like they took career hits Tati got sued by her business partner and then she sues them and it's like back and forth November of 2021 Tati Beauty closes down so hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you in another video bye